no place to escape to. This is the last stream. On the left. <laughs> That's when the cannibalism started. that nice all right hey what's up everyone how you doing welcome to the last stream on the left whoa henry you've been a little edgy today (laughs) yeah i am being a little a little edgy um let me do because i have to do my um what is that that's my edgy thing like you actually turned your head too much but no uh yeah but let me see if i can try it okay you do it you do it that's you guys awesome. are not doing this right. You guys don't channel <laughs> okay, the true no, violence of someone who is silent, sad, but yet see, currently killing someone. See, I'm. Uh, you got to do the neck more. Like, here's how you do it. <laughs> That's scary. You look like your head's about to fall off. When you do that, it looks like your head's about to. I actually weirdly see you smile like that. And then watch your head just like roll off your head. And then we all just scream and scream and scream. Well, we're going to blow a lot. Fuck. We're going to blow a lot of minds today with the unbelievable content that I've provided from the YouTube. You've already told us. You said the big theme of today. You said straight up. The big theme of today was that we have to vamp. (laughs) I think it's really important to know. Stretch. Stretch. Um, But Who's going to chat? I'm going to say what's up to the chat. chat? Um, Cat says nice shirt. Thank you for saying that. What's up? Hail Satan. What's going on? Is this a cold chamber video? Oh my! Yeah, that's right. That's what Juggle and Jester says. They're cold chamber. Be loco. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They broke up in Lubbock, Texas, by the way. You imagine On stage. You, you imagine bringing what? your date to go see Cold Chamber after you thought you got tickets for Coldplay, and then you're just like, "I'm sorry, honey." Oh Be my loco. god! So we, a shout out to the fucking vaccine, vaccine children, children of the dead. Get it done Thank if you, you can. Yeah. I'm getting my second shot fucking tomorrow. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, be oh ca- Henry, yeah. you're not gonna get it tomorrow. Oh, you're gonna yeah. die. What? Be oh, careful. No. <laughs> oh my God, we're not oh, wheeling yeah. you out for our show in Grundy oh, County yeah. on a stretcher. Okay, we're not doing the coma show. I'm getting that if, fucking second oh, yeah. shot tomorrow, and I'm gonna fucking two weeks from then. Oh my God, I'm gonna get so fucking blackout drunk. I'm gonna ruin my fucking life. <laughs> you just did that for a full year. When I get my first, I'm doing a single dose. I'm not gonna get blackout drunk because that was 2020. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta get to gotta do something to remember the troops. Absolutely. Um, well, today is a, my mandate, I got so the we're first gonna have. One. That's yeah, you got the first good. one too. Yeah, fuck, bro. Yeah, fuck well, yeah. yeah. Hope everyone, I hope everyone is safe and happy out there. Uh, today is my mandate, Henry. You are absolutely disgusting. So I just let's like all came at once. I don't know why all those burps all came. I think it's because of the thing I got on top of the chair when I got on top. Yeah, it was the, it was the simple body movement that did it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we we have a month and a half until we have to perform on a stage. You can't just burp if you utter two sentences in a row. I honestly don't know how we're going to perform. I have no clue what we're going to say to people. Huh. Oy, 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 I don't know what we're going to do. You know, I have my jokes. Yeah, I have an idea. You know, my joke is. Do any gas pumps work in America? I just am so I'm so afraid for our tour. I got my car because I got the car and I haven't been able to find many gas pumps that work. Uh, wow. Do any gas pumps work in America? I just feel like we're really gonna we're really gonna have a solid two minutes up top. I think we're gonna do really well as soon as we walk on stage. We're gonna be like, what's up, everybody? I was gonna be like, yeah, yeah. Oh shit, I'm oh, going. Yeah. Where are you then- from? Where are you from? And then it's gonna be the 45 minutes of us just. <laughs> Isn't that weird though how the gas pumps really don't work that often? All right. Well, today let's just start this. Let's Before you start- get into it, oh, no, give, me a couple, give me a little bit on the 405. Tell me what you think of yeah, coming yeah, from New something. York. Go you do know, some on the 405. What's so funny with the 405? I call it the 40Y. Why the hell are you going so slow? <laughs> and, and does any gas pump even work in America? We're never gonna fucking ever make it ever again. We're literally never gonna do a thing of substance ever again. We're not gonna have a career, are we? No, <laughs> we're I here. mean, technically, if we get less substance, we'll have more of a career. Um, just because it's you know, <laughs> the concept of good news for twenty million dollars, and then he just sold it. They I'm, just purchased. Is that what happened? Of good news. Oh yeah, no, it's not getting made. They just purchased the words "good news" from the <laughs> office man. We have always been incorrect. Um, someone also said in the chat, um, "Why didn't ever? This is a good time for Avril Lavigne to do a. Why you gotta go and get yourself all vaccinated? All right. You know like where you come from the COVID. I can't believe you're gonna get." ventilated and then, well you life. would be vaccinated so you don't go and you don't, so then you don't get ventilated that would be the goal anyway let's just start today this video is like non-ironically just unbelievably cute um 
It's a listener at very first, but then it's a reaction. So this is a dog. I don't want to say the full thing, but it's a dog and cat related, Fernando. Dog and cat related. Do you think you can find it? Perhaps a toot? Okay, listen to this. This is one of my favorite videos of all time. Okay. Oh, I... Here we go. This dog is sleeping. Is Watch it. Listen. Oh no, we missed the sound. Oh, there's no sound. Gosh darn it. Fernando, can we take it back with the sound? <laughs> Let's see if it plays the sound. Did the audience hear it? Yes. Oh, the audience did hear it. Okay, so what you guys don't hear is the dog farts. And then the cat looks at it like, and they're like what the hell did you just do? And then the cat just pummels its face, face again. Let's see if we can't get sound for the boys. No, I think it's sound free. Okay, starting off great. <laughs> There's a fart, and then the cat looks. So the, basically, the dog just farted. Then, then the cat looks. No, at I know it here. this video before. This is like in Dune Messiah when Paul has seen everything. And then, the it hits the, then it hits I've the. I've already dog. seen this video, oh, so I actually God. know what's going to happen in this video. But we yeah, didn't get to hear the fart. But the fart was funny for the such a little dog. I gotta say, Jerry has just been letting him rip lately. Well, I've been seeing him. Same. He's just aging. He is just getting like he just <laughs> does old boy. He does twelve year old boy farts now. That's what it is, and it's just like, wow, Jerry, you're so comfortable. What you happy about? He's just like his father. Didn't fall too far from the tree, the apple did. I tell you what, I I, I will say something has changed about Jerry's diet, because I went over the other day while Jackie was over there, and I saw Jerry was smoking a cigar. (laughs) (laughs) Well, he's got a whole... He's a good guy. Well, let's just stick, so we know the... uh, Have you been teaching him to smoke? Uh, no, he does that on his own. I would never teach him to smoke. Maybe I have a drawer of cigars that I keep unlocked just in case he sneaks in and finds one and then wants to have a smoke behind the house at midnight. But I would never give my child a cigarette. However, puppy schnapps. Puppy schnapps. <laughs> puppy schnapps. Thing. Honestly, everybody likes puppy schnapps. It comes in liver flavor. You got liver mm. schnapps. Honestly, Ooh. honestly, I kind of into that idea. Ooh, I like some a a minerally li- when's the last time you had good like liver like like either chicken livers or Ooh, no, um no, no liver time. worst not chicken not liver what's liver worst isn't chicken liver is it because i like a little liver worst mm, i don't know what what is in liver worst i remember I fry- the last good liver i had was fried chicken livers in mm. texas from a gas station that was oh, pretty yeah. tasty you, know, yeah. you can make fried chicken livers at home I bet I could. Yeah, I got were, butchers around here. They're, they got plenty of chicken hearts and livers. They'll just give to me. If you go to the butcher or you go to ever, no, normally if you get a whole chicken, they'll have the gizzards inside of it. And what I like to been when I've been doing recently too, take them out of there. A, take them out of there. You do about truly like a half stick of butter, chop up mm. a bunch of onions, mm-hmm. get the onions going with it. And just like put a fuck ton of butter and just fried chicken livers and onions is fucking such a sweet way to fucking die, dude. I've been going, I've been doing the soy, the fake soy uh, sausages instead. Yeah, that's right. actually really good. People, I love the good fake soy morning. sausages. So who's had liverwurst this morning, man? Someone had chopped liver this morning? Melissa, Z, I love that. I love to see more people eating liver. Yeah. In the morning? I don't think so, because oh, then what yeah. are they doing by the noontime? They're farting like Jerry. It's disgusting. But it's got a lot of, it's got a lot of iron in it. It gets you fucking yoked. For yes. the fucking day, dude. It gets, yeah, I, I feel love like blood, so- like blood sausage in the morning. Oh, yeah. Now that's Ooh, wonderful. Yeah, this is a question for anyone uh, who has who's, who swallows semen, because they say pineapple makes your cum very nice. I can't imagine what it would taste like after a blood sausage or a bunch of liverwurst. It has got to change the taste of cum. But while you're thinking about that in the chat, Natalie won't ta- kiss me on the mouth if I've been eating awful. Like that's just a straight up. No, she won't even go. She won't go even that far. She won't even mm-hmm. give me. Well, I have to wash my beard. What I do is that's how we keep the marriage fresh yeah. is that if I've been eating like hard meats, because that's what I call that, my hard meats, I mm-hmm. do like I'll do a full wash on my face before we even touch because then she'll do, get liver lips. Do you guys know how scary pelicans are? Yeah. Pelicans are freaking violent animals from hell. You so, mean talking about the New Orleans pe- pelicans? No, not the New Orleans pelicans who I bet on in Las Vegas in a parlay and they were the only team to lose, which cost me fine. That's fine. How um, much money did you lose? Oh, no, no, I did not. I never lose. I came back. I did great. Anyway, um, Pelican, let's do this video from BBC. No specific World. answer, Marcus. Even no, no, I did no, not. No, I know you can tell. All we, ever, all we ever hear is double your, I, I doubled my money. I did double not double money. my money. I did not uh-huh. double my money. I did not. Uh-huh. I did not lose. I never went to the ATM. So 
There you go. All right. Put it all on his credit card. That's what he said. He no, you don't bet with a credit, credit card. That's how he. That's how he fixes it. He can actually pass uh-huh. a truth sayer, like what they do in Dune. Like you could pass a truth sayer in order for him to say, like, well, I didn't go to the ATM in in, in okay. Vegas because he wouldn't. He pulled money out from that stuffed in his mattress inside from Full. his last illegal game. His last Cena, illegal game. Cena, Gosnavi from Fraudsters and Travis Irvine. They can both attest. Not only am I safe in Las Vegas, I drive very safe as well. I drove everybody there and everyone back, even though technically. Technically, the last day probably should have been sleeping. But nonetheless, I was driving instead. And uh, you know what they both said? I'm surprised at how safe you are for a driver. And I said, thank you, because that means a lot to me. I got them home safe, and that's all that matters. I'm a very safe driver. You know, I actually have a question at this point, because I always assume, because for many years, like the driving, when we would have to go between venues, you know, or when we'd have to, like, try to say, like, Henry's crazy. Ithaca or something like that. But no, but Henry would drive or I would drive. Yet never once did Big Kissel volunteer to drive. I volunteered all the time, and he Henry did. would say, no, I would say he did. I, Henry I was, wants to drive. Because oh. at first, because I was truly concerned for our safety, and I knew I drove more regularly, so I you wanted don't. to drive you boys. But oh, he I drives like regularly, but he drives, drives insane. insane. You want us to fucking get there? I am get the there. safest driver. I have you, you get, he's the safest you get driver. there maybe 15 minutes early. Uh, I've made whole hours of time. and My Kissel, father was a truck driver. Sure. It's in my blood the way to drive Kissel drives, he literally is like, no, that is not how I drive. It I is am, just no. I am this close to vomiting when you drive. Not when I drive. When Henry drives, <laughs> when he just drives, he just drives. It's like it's just so slow, and he just but to, he but, just cruises. It's a fucking four thousand pound Ford F one fifty. To that point, though, I was forced not to drive, and then I did just sleep in the back because what other options do I have? Okay. True. Well, let's play this video of this pelican. And this is a news story in the BBC. I don't know if it's going to be that disturbing, but let's just watch this. This is a news story. I didn't know, I didn't know the UK had pelicans. I know. I know. All right. Let's be, let's hopefully now, we can get this out. Seen a Here we go. We're back. Over the last few days of a pelican eating a pigeon in a London park. Well, we now have moving pictures of this bizarre incident. So it's called a film. Now, if you're There's so much lover. going on in the world, Children but this is the story they're covering. Pelican, then Look at the size of, sudden, of that thing. Yeah, they're very scary. And Look at spray. this. And then it's Fuck just... Yeah. Fuck yeah. And then My bird. <laughs> gone. <laughs> wow, that fucking bird didn't even have a fucking chance. Wow, did I hear children and look at screaming? The, comment- the, the commentator is like, program. that's awesome. Why are we like, you can tell the commentator like with her eyes is like, who produced that? Like, why did we just cover that story? <laughs> I did not realize the pelican could eat. Like, I mean, I don't know. It's just gone. That that's chick is just gone. Awesome, dude. Yeah. Honestly, that pelican could fucking or pigeon. Eat an infant. It could. That's a cool way. You could toss a fucking infant at a pelican, especially if you've been like shamed and not having an abortion or it's illegal in your place and you need to get rid of the baby and you don't want to give it to the nuns because you don't trust the fucking church. Well, you don't just trust throw the it nuns. at a fucking pelican, man. Dr. Pel only if it's Dr. Pelican. Dr. Pelican well, can do massive some really good stuff when it comes okay. to prenatal care. The, what's the difference between me and Dr. Pelican? Oh, Dr. Pelican went to eight years of fucking bird medical school. He's a pelican. I'm a human. Would you? But you couldn't eat a pigeon like the pelican just ate a pigeon. The pigeon has a whole series of skills that we have no, unbelievably, we have no ability to, to acquire whatsoever. I think the pelican deserves a little bit more respect. And when New Orleans did name their basketball team the Pelicans, I scoffed. And yeah. I said, ugh, I did scared of a pelican. But now I've gone a YouTube rabbit hole of pelicans eating random animals, and I realized the pelican's wow. a dangerous beast. That's so fucking fun, though. But I also, can I also go back to, what does the pelican have to do with New Orleans and basketball? Well, a pelican could fit a basketball in its mouth. Yeah, and but in this... New Orleans, they do have pelicans. They have pelicans in New Orleans. Everybody's got fucking pelicans. I guess you guys got to do. You show, show me a pelican in North Dakota. Pelicans huh. like warm water. That's where they're like, uh, they're like Florida animals. Where's tell us chat? Where are the pelicans? Coast North animals. Dakota? Also, you I need what? a question on my semen question. And an answer what? on my semen question. Until we get that answer, what from what I can say, a pelican probably could eat a small baby if mm. you grease the baby up first. Oh, sure. Well, that but then that makes you complicit in the pelican eating the baby. That's yeah. not going to hold up in court. Casey Anthony, you need to just like, whoa, you know what I'm talking about. I know what like, you're talking about. You can't butter up the baby unless the baby falls in like 
if you're having crab dinner and the baby just, oh my God, I can't believe it fell in all the butter. And then, whoa, the baby slipped out of my hands. You happen to be on a boardwalk, a pelican picks it up. Maybe you can have plausible well, deniability. Because you know when you normally Maybe. try to, when you want Maybe. your baby to be really tan, like normally if you really are trying oh, to get the who baby does to that? tan. Why would anybody oh, that's so tan Everybody baby. does. Everybody wants no. their baby to be tan. Yeah. Of course, you want your baby what? to look good on vacation. Yeah, you cover no, the baby in, in Crisco. No, no, babies love being tan. They love being, they have to be left out every once in a while. That's how you know what baby's on vacation. Oh, I don't think you t- honestly do babies. Does anyone tan their babies? That Everybody be healthy for the baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Babies love going out. The baby needs sun. They need a lot of direct sun. Yeah. You leave them outside. A lot for a of while. people said, I guess they're saying that it's the Pelican State. They don't have anything in North Carolina. No Pelicans in North Carolina. Um, oh, people are saying sunscreen. You have to put sunscreen if a baby's gonna be outside. Oh right. my god, that's just because you're lame. That. You're lame I mean, and you don't no, understand how cool Henry. it is for a baby to th- be tan. When I was three years old, my babysitter left me out in the 105 degree sun all afternoon long. And yes, I did get a heat stroke and it might have, I don't know, fucked something up in there. Who knows? Who gives but a I'm shit? fine. Look at me look now. At I got a bass He's- guitar. And look a, at and a drum box. Look at, look at me now. Look. Try it. Can you play something off of it? We can't hear it. We can't, can't hear, hear it. it. No, we Aww. can't hear it. There's no noise okay. coming out of it. All right. Well, let me de- maybe... Hook it up, would you? Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have well, as you hook it up. Everyone's saying, of course, babies love the tan. The whole chat's blown up. Yes, my baby's no, tan is they well. don't. What? Those the baby's like, oh, yeah, of course. My baby hang tan every day. Yeah, my baby looks like she It was like it just got back from Hawaii. Everybody's like super into it. I know. I'm, yeah, everybody knows. All right. Well, let's stick with animal news. Let's go with this little piggy video. This is just a cute piggy video of a piggy having its tooth brushed. <laughs> Piggy video, and now it's time for Piggy video. Isn't that cute? I want a piggy so bad. That's cute. (laughs) This guy's got a janked up teeth now. He's got a piggy teeth. That's the whole video. Yeah, high priest Blaine, pale, pale babies equals gross. I don't know if that's true. All right, thank you, Fernando. Oh, apparently, the pelican is the is the Louisiana state bird. Oh, okay. I guess yeah. I never put that's together a stupid Louisiana. bird to be the state. I thought it'd be like the jazz cardinal. There are. I don't think there is a jazz cardinal. I don't believe that that animal exists. Well, when we were talking gumbo, about this on gumbo. side stories today, I think the national bird needs to be the raven because ravens are so smart and they eat food from people. They're very smart. They are. Yeah, it says yeah. The brown pelican is the is the Louisiana state bird. Well, you mentioned the name Brown or the word Brown. Do you guys know what happened to the Charlie Brown voice actor? I know that uh, Charles Schultz killed his family. <laughs> okay, that is one thing that you know <laughs> um, adjacent that, to the question. Yeah, and then Pigpen was actually based off of a young Michael Hadson. Very interesting. Did not know that fact. Marcus, do you know what the Charlie Brown voice actor, do you know anything about his life? The man who voiced Charlie him? Brown. I thought he uh, drowned in a swamp in 1975. I th- yeah, I thought I so too. I don't know if you're making uh, that also, up or if that is real. <laughs> people are all saying how it's funny to see um, the difference between Kissel's world and Titty's world where Titty's is TikTok and Kissel is Instagram Reels. I love Instagram reels because I just follow. I was hanging out with my friends, as I was saying earlier, and we did one of those things. You know, when you're bonding with your friends and you try to like be like, learn more about them. We, we showed each other our news feeds on Instagram. And yeah. mine is, you know, I, obviously I look at porn and all that stuff, but I just don't sure. have that on my Instagram. My Instagram no, is literally yes. meat. It is food, just it's meat. food, meat, that's and, it. and that's it. And then Cetus was just the hottest. He just has nothing but boobies and butts. And then yeah, it was mine's just, so just funny. like, it's just big, it's big breasts, meat, and um, t-shirts and shoes. T-shirts mm. and a shoes. A lot of shirts, a lot of shoes. I, it's I, like shoes. Um, this thing, I think it's an Instagram thing. It's a TikTok thing, too, where a woman, it's not, it's technically not sexual, but she doesn't wear a bra, but she dances, and you can obviously tell that we, her nipples like are like right there. Like you can see the nipples really obviously. See, my thing with that is I just don't need to see it on the Instagram. There's such a wealth of pornography throughout all of the other pages on the internet. When it comes to my Instagram, I just the one thing that's really getting under my skin though, 
too much liquid cheese. They're dumping liquid cheese on top of hamburgers and on That's steaks. You never like have to put liquid cheese. cheese on a steak. A steak is a mm, 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 no, no need for like cheese on everything. Never on a steak. Never on a steak. What do you? Never. What's in your discovery queue and on Instagram, Marcus? I like it. What's inside of your algorithm? Because you don't spend any time on there, right? Okay, this I is my algorithm right now. Yeah. I got, I got eggs. I got Fauci. I got uh, Joe from Impractical Jokers. There's the said steaks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. who I love and wrestling. Yeah. Mine's yeah, Nikes. It's Nike's the new Supreme drop. Okay. Um, it's got a garbage pail kid. All of these weird pictures from the punk scene. Um, mm-hmm. And then this woman with her breasts out. Okay. The mm-hmm. only yeah. breasty, the only breast women that I have are breast women. The only women I have are wrestlers as well, who are obviously beautiful. But yeah, I, this is basically Nate Burgess, who I think is unbelievably funny. Dr. So Fauci, because I'm into politics. Uh, Joe, because I think Impractical Jokers are great. And then wrestling and me. Also, you know what I've been doing? Show. I've been getting a lot of like, Instagram grind culture, hustle culture, how to make a million dollars, snippets of Warren Buffett talking things, which I also don't really understand. Never listen to those things. That's what I will say. No, because it's just Jeff Bezos going, it's very important to sleep. And it's been like, no, that wasn't Jeff Bezos. No, Jeff Bezos, Steve Harvey did this whole rant about how he's like, you know what the difference between you and a billionaire is? They don't sleep. And that is not true. You definitely need to sleep. sleep. I barely sleep and I'm nowhere near a billionaire. All right. Well, you oh, know I want to a... hear Marcus's algorithm. All right. What is it? Unless I'm trying it's... to figure out. I'm trying to. Fi- oh, can you hear me? Yeah, of course. Can you hear me? Yep. Instead yes. of my algorithm, I was about this. Okay. Let's hear it. Can you hear it? How is that any better than a Casio? <laughs> it's, it's very light, though. It's very like oh, you crank it up. question. Uh, um, red meat makes cum disgusting. Extra sour sweet. Thank oh, you so much for feeling answer. it. Get me out of here! Hey, I'm I can't take one more I'm gonna go second. to the bar. I'm gonna go to the bar. Do you I want? Don't leave me alone at this state fair. Do you want a tequila? The mezcal in his tequila. I can't wait. Oh my God! All I know is I think Henry screamed and he said that he wanted to kill me at the. And he just left screaming. He wanted you to want kill me. Me. <laughs> I don't want you to kill me. No. Anyway, so let's play the story. This is a bit of a listener because it's a long news story, but every single thing the voice actor of Charlie Brown says is so unbelievably traumatizing. And um, yeah, we'll just play this video. I think it'll be uh, enlightening for all of us. Great. Okay. Hey, Linus. I shouldn't have picked this little tree. From the child star who voiced Charlie Brown. Success is not final. It's not fatal. To a convicted two-strike felon, Peter Robbins is ready for the spotlight again. Phil, it's great to Listen see you. Listen to his Peter, first you story. Look great. Thank you so much. No longer a blockhead? Uh, well, not the way I used to be. The last time we saw each other was at the George Bailey Detention Center in Otay Mesa at the start of a nearly five-year sentence for making criminal threats against several people, including San Diego County Sheriff William Gore. Well, I know I was certainly <laughs> mentally ill. This and, is very sweet. Um, I wish I had gotten treated earlier uh, by professionals. While at Bailey, he says he was welcomed by inmates in an unforgettable way. This they is horrible. They out of your bed at 4 o'clock in the morning, throw a blanket over your head and beat you for 20 seconds. Later, at Chino Men's Prison, he encountered a shirtless inmate with a swastika tattooed from his upper chest to his waist. I said, listen, moron. When you're in this yard, put a shirt on. I know what that symbol means, and my grandfather died at the hands of the Nazis. The now 63-year-old says his lowest point came in solitary confinement. So these people are screaming all throughout the night, plus the uh, guards knock on your door every 20 minutes to make sure you're alive. Robbins was treated for addictions to drugs, alcohol, and sex. But it was his bipolar disorder battle that got him transferred ah. to a state mental hospital in Atascadero <laughs> so before sad. being released to a North County now sober pull that ball, Lucy. I would recommend to anybody that has bipolar disorder to take it seriously because your mm-hmm. life yeah. can turn around in the span of a month like it did to me. The judge has oh. ordered that Peter Robbins can't drink month? alcohol or consume illegal drugs, That's and he must that. take anger management classes to maintain his freedom. And I came I out of prison. Around and um, I'm a better person for it. I'm a, sure. I'm uh, right. much more humble and grateful and thankful uh, that I lived through the do? experience. To celebrate, Robbins touched up his tattoo Aww. of the beloved cartoon character, 
who will forever be part of his past, present, and future. It's a symbol to me of refurbishing my life. Oh, I don't have any animosity towards anybody. I want to write a book about my experiences That's very uh, in jail and prison and what I have to look forward to. Uh, confessions of a blockhead is what I'm going to call it. <laughs> 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 there you go. <laughs> it may be nearly 55 years later, but the spirit of that young boy has kept Peter Robbins together during his darkest days as a troubled, grown man. Charlie Brown fans are the greatest fans in the world Aww. and everybody is willing I hope to give me a second chance all right there what did he do? Charlie Brown I, mean, I don't know what he did but he only got five I'll, years so it couldn't have been that bad he made criminal threats against the mayor which who among us has not been so mad at a mayor that he wants to make a threat? Right? I have done open threats on his, the internet <laughs> of many I just, politicians if I was Holy producing that segment, shit. if I was producing that segment, the one way I would not lead into the fact that he got beat up when he first showed up was like they had a fucking strange shit. way of welcoming him in. And oh, they threw yes. a blanket over and beat the hell out of him. They fucking beat in Charlie Brown. There was anyway, no reason. Wait till you hear what they it did to Peppermint Patty and the female. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm looking up to see exactly what he did. But Flannery the Crump. only thing I've... Flannery Crump says, if I show this to my therapist, will she finally let me kill myself? <laughs> <laughs> the answer is no. No one's killing no. themselves. The answer, is, the answer is no. But the only thing I want to say is that he really missed. I mean, if he's going to write a memoir about his time in prison, why isn't he calling it cell blockhead? Oh, that's actually a very good point. Confessions of a blockhead or cell blockhead. I think the movie, could, I think the movie could work better with a cell blockhead. But I understand, like if it's a memoir, confessions, and but yeah, you're correct. What about yeah. Yeah. white power, Charlie? <laughs> no, he stood up to the Nazi. He said, "No, my grandfather died in that war, and 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 because because he was Jewish." And then he said, "Put a shirt on in this yard." So Peter Robbins, okay, yeah. So it still says actor next to his name, legal troubles. So we see yeah. right here, yeah, he, really, really, he was re arrested for multiple probation violations, including drinking, drinking alcohol and failing to complete mandatory domestic violence classes. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Um, yeah, so that's... That's oh, hence so like the anger issues that he's working on. In charge with four felony counts uh -huh. of making a threat to cause greater bodily injury harm and one felony count of stalking. The four counts involved four victims, including a San Diego police sergeant whom Robbins reportedly threw threatened with bodily, bodily harm during a, this is 2013 wow so this wow. is even later this yeah. is later on down in his yeah. life yeah. yeah and he also sent letters to members of the media in which he offered to pay money to have san diego county sheriff bill gore killed well okay. i mean you know he's offering money <laughs> <It's like> the <laughs> to the media you know for a fact that dude the, the the fact that dude was charlie brown and the judge used to watch him helps because the five-year sentence that was all it seems like there was a lot of stuff there but can you fucking imagine being in the yard you're Charlie Brown. You see a what I presume to be a very large man take off his shirt, and he has a very large swats to go on it. And you go up to him and go, "Gee, golly, you white bastard! I need you to put that shirt back on." Yes, it is, and that's why perhaps, big. perhaps Charlie Brown, maybe he does need a little bit of a resurgence, or at the very least, isn't. Does he need a career resurgence? Perhaps not, because it seems as if the real reward is that he is at peace now and he's a better person. And isn't that what we I, ask of our I'm society? So, I really yeah. would. I really do believe that he, he served his time. He did his thing. Should he necessarily come back to be Charlie Brown anymore? I don't. I don't know. Well, I think his that's voice going to happen. That was okay. when they actually had child actors play the children roles, though, yeah. because he was an actual kid. Yeah, I did find uh, why he was stalking these people. Uh, he that was a, the letters that he sent uh, offering to have pay money to kill the sheriff. That was from prison. Oh, uh, that's the, he sent that from prison. So he didn't uh, see what, the, he didn't realize people would read those. <laughs> didn't realize that people would read those. What he was originally sent to prison for was for stalking and threatening his former girlfriend and a plastic surgeon who gave her a breast enhancement surgery that he did not like. Oh my God. There's a lot of stuff going on there. So well, Charlie Brown, you know what? Again, let's just keep applauding Charlie Brown. It's like, congrats. Good work. You did it. Good You're job. Getting on your meds. Stay on your meds. Stay, Stay on your medication. Your Sounds Stay like you have, bi yeah. you have bipolar one. It's the, that's the, that's the crazy one. I have bipolar two. That's more like depression plus. Okay, yeah. so Marcus just said that you're more depression premium. Is, so stay on the meds. <laughs> yeah, stay, stay on the meds. On the meds. Depression well, premium. 
I would say you have the yeah. platinum. You have the platinum package of yes. depression. He's got the black yeah. card. Yeah. He's yeah. got the black no, card. No. The heavy card. No. no. Yeah. He's Q. Sir Slaughter six and six is Q. Whoa! <laughs> it was Q all along. Get the net. Get the net, indeed. All right. Well, let's go to this. Let's stick with sort of TV news here. Let's go to this shake weight video. It's a little bit lighter, and then we'll go on to a tale that, uh, again, I don't think that you guys knew because I certainly didn't know until last night. So let's go to the shake weight video. It's just fun. You can imagine why it's funny. Um, oh, because like, just the shake weight. Yes, because it looks like, like she's nature jerking of something off. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is I, this is classic. This, this is not is classic, just... but I mean, shake weight. I just, Hello. What a, Hello. What an Welcome to a uh, wonderful at... Wednesday morning on, uh, on this Vintage. morning. Vintage. Right. <laughs> okay. What is that, do you reckon? What do you think? It says, uh, hold it six inches away from your face at all times to avoid injury. Oh, OK, that's about six inches. You can be more cheeky in the UK. <laughs> yes, you oh, can yeah. be. OK. <laughs> and these two are very cheeky. Oh, look at I'm that. Sorry, Isn't that nice that they're sex positive enough rude. to do that, though? <laughs> Ignore that. Right, go on. What's that's the next not the instruction? instruction? The instruction is to shake vigorously. Uh, it's not, it says it's not motorised. This is a mechanical device that you move back and forth with your own muscle power. Which is what I'm doing. Right. So you nope. lock your wrists, which is what you're doing. Move TV it slowly it back and forth on an even plane. Do you get it, Marcus? It looks like she's masturbating. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Hold with both funny. hands, elbows close to the body. Oh, that's where I'm uh -huh. going wrong. And tighten the muscles yeah. in your upper it's body. It's like she's jerking the off. The faster body. you move it, like the more intense the workout like will become. She's jerking off you a man. Work. It's like she's jerking off a guy, Marcus. You All right. This is, this, is a, this is a new. Uh, Everyone's an actual queer icon, Philip Schofield. Honestly, he there. should be the one sucking on the dick. You know, those two are very. All cheeky. right, there it was. Very they're cheeky. Very, they're very, they're very cheeky. They're That's very what cheeky. I don't. If I had the opportunity as the male anchor, I would be the one with the shake weight. Because, like, I know that you obviously you're going to give it to the woman so her breasts jiggle when she drags the thing. That's obviously that's good yeah. television. I don't think that's what the producer said. Well, I, mean, I think I he was the one. No, because he was taking the lead on the reporting. She was <laughs> simulating. <laughs> he was doing the simulation. He was reporting. That was his story. She had to, you know, she had to act it out. Otherwise, I mean, if you would have acted it out, I think it would have been. Well, you could be talking more while you're talking it. I mean, like, sometimes it's helpful to imagine if there's someone standing next to you. Yeah, absolutely. But remember that, though, when the shake weight came out that everyone was I remember. like, hey, that was funny. Yeah, that was yeah, funny because yeah, it's like this. Everyone's yeah. just like, oh, look at that. And you know what? Yeah. I don't know if it's ever done a single thing physically for anybody. No, I don't think that it works. I think that's of the Kellogg's diet. Uh, that's like when you would go to one of those strange institutions as a kid and just get, they would just shake you or hold you upside down. Well, I don't I'd love to find, I actually would love to know if you, if anybody in the chat has ever used a shake weight and actually toned a single fucking thing. Well, because all I know of us have like, used a shake. You had one growing up. Every, every oh, mom yeah, had a shake weight, right? Well, because we, Jackie had one and it was in every video for like a year oh. that we did. Why was, why was that? Because it looks like you're jerking something off. Oh, interesting. Okay. But when you do this, like, because in like yoga and shit, you're supposed to like hold out your arms and flex, right? You're supposed to do things when you do stuff. You're supposed to flex because that's supposed to slightly tone whatever it is that you do. Whenever it, you're moving into a thing, you're supposed to flex. But the things, I don't know if this actual movement does anything for you. Like, because you're trying to get rid of the flappies, right? That's really the main goal is you're trying to get rid of these things by just but you could also just do this for hours at a time. Honestly, like while I do this, hard, this is actually, after a while, it's, it's going to be difficult. I'm, I'm honestly sweating profusely. I like seeing stars. Yeah. Just from it doing that, me, which is not good. Yeah, it gives me a headache. Well, you mentioned stars and headaches. I'm yeah, really I'm just like letting not, you guys. Yeah, that, was, that was like dumb. You that guys are like, just magically. You guys are magically finding the segues today. I just have to say this. You guys, there's something, there's like a triple mind melt going on. You say stars and we say injuries. Did you guys know what happened to Chris Kattan? I know um, that he just keeps getting funnier. Does any, any, do you guys know anything about Chris Kattan's life? Do you know anything? No. His this, life? No. Well, this is just, you know, they say the theater might be safer than sport. Maybe the theater mm. is safer than uh, doing a whole series of uh, different extreme activities like mountain climbing or whatever. But it turns out the theater can itself be quite dangerous. This is another bit of a, it's it not, not too much of a talker, kind of a listener, but of course we can but speak. People say, I use well. the shake weight to strengthen my glutes. How'd you do that? You well, stand. You put it. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> Becca 90, I used mine on and off again for like six months. If you watch the workout video, you really feel the burn, but I didn't see any results. There's a video for a fucking Shake Week? That's what it came with, the DVD. Maybe it oh. wasn't even just a tangible VHS at that time. Let's listen to the plight of Chris Kattan, because I had no idea what this man has gone through. He's famous for his memorable characters on SNL. Mango. Mango. Yep. Whoa! Oh, I do like Mr. Mango. Peepers. Love Mr. Peepers. Peepers. From Love the Mr. Amazon Peepers. rainforest, so he might be just a little groggy. And a night at the Roxbury with Will Ferrell. Gotta love but Catan. It was this sketch in Watch 2001 this. that Chris Catan says changed his life forever. I went backwards on my chair, and to to sell it, you know, I I went. You know, I really put myself into the character. It was a spoof of the Golden Girls. He chokes on cheesecake, and when he throws himself backwards, he hits the ground hard. I felt a snap uh, on my neck when I um, hit the railing of the uh, of the uh, the chair itself. The injury resulted in a broken neck. Whoa! Go. Was that a shock to you then to hear this doctor say that you broke your neck? Did you ever even think that was possible? Uh, no, I did not. Catan says he kept the injury to himself because he feared the repercussions to his career. How long yeah. did you work with a broken neck? Just really broke his arm until I had the surgery because I had to wait till after the season of SNL because they didn't want to miss a show. Catan underwent five surgeries. Isn't he that says crazy? He became so debilitating he became addicted to painkillers. Oh, that's why he got all hopped up. With him, you know, he's a big drug addict. He's like, a, you know, something's wrong with his back, and he looks terrible. So his years of stardom on <laughs> SNL came to an end after seven years. So in 2014, I, he was arrested oh. for DUI. Yeah, he says all his Everyone's problems like, why would you show But it all sketch. came from this so one sad. sketch. What was heartbreaking about it? And it was, was garbage. It it's a horrible sketch. Years. Catan tells his story in his new memoir, Baby Don't Hurt Baby Me. Baby Don't Hurt Me. That's the song that played during those popular Night at the Roxbury <laughs> sketches. Oh. All right, but I just did that. I have newfound respect for him, though, because I didn't realize he broke his neck, and it is not easy to do improv sketch or whatever SNL is, written down sketch, but it's not easy to do anything with a broken neck. So I actually, Team Chris Catan. that's what I'll I say. Think, tough guy. He's a tough guy. I think this is more about how fucking awful it is to work on Saturday Night Live yes. when you break your neck and you stick around for two months out of fear that you might not make the cast the next they, season. They but that is something that allow you, you out. It, rem it reminds me of Henry's story that he tells about the woman who had her toenail pop up when they were shooting the airplane scene. Don't take me off the set! It's Don't a huge take deal! Me out of the movie! She was it, fucking crazy, dude. This is especially crazy. When, when Chris Kattan was doing that. You couldn't have a YouTube channel. You didn't have anything else. That's all he had. And the fact that he couldn't tell Lauren Michaels he broke his neck might just tell you Lauren maybe was a little too mean. He yeah. was incredibly mean. SNL is one of the worst working environments you can fucking be in. Chris Kattan was also famously weird at the time and it was a whole, it's a whole fucking thing. He broke his neck. It always reminds me of when Eddie popped his fucking hernia when Murder Fist <sighs> was in the middle of our fucking industry run back That's in the day. Right. We were doing all these various industry shows and he couldn't get the surgery because it was six week uh, recoup time. Like once you get it because the mesh that they put in to hold yeah. your fucking intestines above your dick is it needs to stay in place for six weeks. And so he just was chewing per Percocets. Poor bastard. For, and for and working there. as the head chef of the village poorhouse, Ed Larson, yeah. brighter side, check him out. Did you ever feel Eddie's hernia? Do you ever feel it? Yeah, it's like a little. It was like ew, ew, ew. it was yeah. like a cuckoo clock. Well, I didn't. Yeah, yeah, I did not. I just for some reason I just didn't expect it. You could move it and put it inside of him and take it out. Like yeah. Anyway, that was the early days of Roundtable too. He was still coming and getting drunk at my place and recording Roundtable every Friday with that hernia hanging. He out. had to get yes, drunk just for the pain. That guy was in so. Well, much he had pain. to get drunk for the fun. He was on Percocet. For yeah. the pain. <laughs> well, anyway, let's just as a palate cleanser, let's just show this random video of a plane crash as we start. <laughs> we're gonna start moving. <laughs> I am. So so scared. I'm really trying to get over all phobias because I'm just so scared of everything. But this could theoretically happen. Um, but let's just watch this footage. So Imagine you're sad. just driving down. And nowadays, the road. yeah, it's just nothing's Is worth it breaking. Silent. Your neck. Uh, there might be sound, but uh, it I doesn't can give matter. Give it a soundtrack if you like. Yeah, give it a soundtrack. You're. Yeah, Honestly, give it a soundtrack. We'll say that when I what I have Plane's learned now, though, as in. I'm headed towards 40 years old, is that no physical injury is worth anything that, that something like that. There's absolutely no. like, holy fucking oh. shit. Yeah, and then the plane just crashes. It's right in front of people. I would shit a brick. Um, yeah. So anyway, 
That's like when Chris oh, Kattan shit. fell off of that chair. <laughs> yeah, it's just like that. That would have great. Yeah, we can great. actually go back and rewatch it because I watched this like 10 times. It's so scary. It hits the power line first, and it looks like it's a commercial airliner. What and is this? It's from 2017. I just feel like it should. Who did this? Is everybody oh. dead on that plane? Yeah, yeah dude. Of course. So it just you yeah, just went dude. from showing the saddest. You just showed. <laughs> Mango no, this was a palate cleanser. And now th- this is a plane crash in which multiple people die. My <laughs> serotonin levels are very low. <laughs> and I am working. I next month I will be back. You know. Oh, but anyway. So wow. there's that. That's horrifying. Yeah, right. You need to get on planes again. <laughs> I know. That's why I started investigating it. I think we should start driving like John Madden did in a big old in a big old bus. But then we also have to remember what happened with the uh, freaking Metallica. They lost. They lost their dude in a bus, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. Can I just meet you there since we live in different cities? <laughs> yeah, we'll take planes, Marcus. <laughs> Marcus, you and I can fly. Okay. And then, honestly, I would love to see the Kissel bus, and I'll ride in the Kissel bus. Yeah, yeah all right. well, I'll get there just after the show, and uh, I'll be like, hey, guys, sorry, I'm a little bit late. We hit traffic. <laughs> Everyone's like, that is real live death. Another Kissel yeah. mandate with actual physical deaths in it. We the don't last- know if that plane that play may have been automated. That could have been an automated plane. Is that it was a drone? A, that was like a piper. That was like a sandpiper. That's just, that's like wings, man. Let's show this video of a clam. <laughs> Dude, this shit is creepy, bro. Oh, look at this thing. They can just feel me. Dude, look at this. They don't have eyes or anything. They can just feel they, they do have Fernando eyes. told us that before. I hate clams. They might. Just Honestly, that's a big ass juicy clam. There's a lot of good clam meat in there. I couldn't eat it anymore, though. Oh, yeah, you could. You could eat that as soon as I showed you how well you could cook that. You put that in some pasta. Oh. Oh my god, it's like a plant. Yeah, yeah dude. Horse. Exactly. Oh, so Aliens. Aliens. It says they have a central nervous system. Oh, yeah. That's they're, they're ruining dinner. She's so, she's Look at that thing! Big, Look yeah, at that thing! Foot. Ah, that's a clam I hate it foot. so much! That's the clam, man. That's good. Oh, oh, yeah, watch it. It's like the movie Alien! I threw, watch I almost threw my phone when I watched this last no, night. I almost foot. threw my phone. That's a snail. That's his foot. I don't think it is his foot. He's Coors like I because he's tied in at the bottom. Clams. Oh god. So gross. Gross. Yeah, man, that's so tasty though. That's, that's such a foot. good, healthy looking clam. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> oh my fuck. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's funny. I didn't. You'd eat the hell out of that dog. He doesn't yeah, sense any water. Man, you fry that up <sighs> with some butter, dude. Yeah. Man, I'm it's too I'm so big. Hungry. When it whaps it out like that, it is too alien. Damn it. And his wife's about to leave him right now. This guy is not playing his cards right. Well, it's not a sexy evening. Anymore. All right. Well, it was supposed to be a sexy clam dinner, and I don't even think that was supposed to be a double entendre. Maybe, or maybe it was a double clam dish. Clam dish. But uh, it's. I did not realize that clam had so much life. I don't really you know. know. I never seen a clam is, open. That one is around. aware it's about to be eaten, or at least knows that it needs to escape I wherever it is. I thought one of the seafood things that you could... Is there any animal that you can eat that is not aware it's about to be eaten? Can no, I get chicken. some, like... Can I get some guilt-free meat around here? No, the they're chicken that... The, they're thing. saying that the, uh, the, the lab meat, that's going to be as cheap as regular meat in, like, 10 years. But you wait until I the still... lab meat starts to have feelings, too. Next thing you know, it has the right to vote, and then we have a lab meat president. I still don't completely trust the lab meat. In terms of the long-term things of what it's going to do with our bodies. I don't know, man. We process shit every single day. Oh, yeah. I mean, we can't complain. That's like the people who don't take the vaccine, but they microdose acid every day. But they're just like, (laughs) I don't know what's in it. It's like, even if you eat a bag of Cheetos, you just ate something worse than what's ever in the vaccine. A thousand times worse. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course. No, you know, it just, you know why I I don't eat it. it. I don't. But the thing is that it doesn't really stop my day to day because I'll sit and I'll eat it. Cause I eat the impossible beef cause that's well, sure. what Natalie eats. So I'll eat it. And I've had burgers. Like I like the impossible burgers. I put those on the grill. They're good. They grill up good. Right. I do a little pan fry. They're good. I like them, but you know, and they're good for, I like the impossible beef crumbles cause it can go into like a stir fry or something. That's actually really nice. But, but you know, I'm, I'm trying still to still a little tr- concerned about. I'm the, trying to the drop strands. a couple of. I'm trying to drop LB. So I'm healthy on stage. So I don't uh, have a heart attack. Like the lead performer for the wiggles. 
which is a video I played a few months ago. Remember, he had a heart attack live on stage. That's um, right. There's also but, that magician who had a heart attack live on stage, and everyone just kept laughing at him. They laughed at him as he died. But the impossible meat is still very fatty. I wish they could get why, – why so much fat? But I don't know. Because fat is what tastes good. That's what tastes good. Unfortunately, that's just meat, bro. Meat is going to fuck with you because it's going to have the high – but you need the high, the high fat chicken. content for it to be tasty. I get you the, the also, heat of chicken strips. That's actually really good, too. I like the fake impossible beef, uh, the fake uh, chicken, too. That's well, fine. speaking of eating, remember. Oh, I also, was, big ups to DMX. Is he okay? He's just, he's still, oh, he's going to die. From an, he's not doing good. So, <sighs> no, he's in a vegetative state. They're just, they're waiting. Oh, what is they're he? doing with DMX, right? Yeah, he's in a vegetative state up here. Uh, they just, just go up to waiting. his body. Yeah, and they go, stop, <laughs> drop, <laughs> shut him down, open up, shop. Oh, if that doesn't wake him up. up, then you no. can't. Yeah. If that no, they're waiting until up, the appropriate will. amount of time passes so they can pull the plug. If he wasn't famous, they would have pulled the plug five days ago. I thought that he was off of the life support. That was what I just read yesterday. But then they say he's back on it now, huh? Maybe it did. Uh, there was, a, there was no, some. Not, and yeah, not still, looking good. Oh, they were saying that he. Okay, well, I was really saying, hoping that it, they would switch out Vanilla Ice for him. I wish neither of them. How about because Vanilla's doing great? He's doing Home Reno. He, well, no, he stopped doing Home Reno. Why? He stopped doing it because I don't think that pe- the, the audience wasn't there. But how was the, the audience? As long as there. the Home Reno was fine, I don't care. Yeah, well, I think he's a, he's a wrestler now. He was doing wrestling and then uh, MMA for a hot second. Really? Yeah. All right. Well, remember I was talking about this a few weeks ago, that sports science video of the competitive eating belly when they figure out like how the stomach is expands. Yeah, the extends. Uh-huh. This yeah, is, it extends this is and that it goes clip. back and forth. This is that clip. And it is so, I just think this is one of the most disgusting things ESPN has ever shown. So let's just watch this. I love it. I love the fighting out because then we talked to our friend Nadia and what she does. Well, she just straight up just vomits it all out immediately. Yes, yeah. yes. But I, I believe she's on a bit of a break from the... Uh, from the food and she, no, she's doing just doing a lot porn. more yeah she's, yeah, doing, she's doing way more porn now but she, you know she actually got her biggest credit ever i think she was on bang bus all right good for ah. you nadia all right That's let's it. check out the science between behind i can't up. even get on bang bus you probably as well, the guy yeah, no you can't where are we going everybody yeah maybe it's the driver nathan's hot dog eating contest <laughs> seven consecutive time champion joey chestnut set a world record eating 69 hot dogs uh, in oh, 10 God. minutes Hi, so, Priest Blue. To put in perspective what 69 hot dogs looks like inside a human body, we brought in a one of a kind anthropomorphic dummy complete with a hot dog stuff. Augmenting apparatus. It's official science term. Here we go. Oh. 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 <laughs> so needlessly disgusting. Oh. <laughs> Oddly, though. That is what it sounds like when Joey eats. <laughs> wow. A human can stomach, on average, about one liter of food before the nausea reflex kicks in, signaling us to stop eating. But competitive okay. eaters train their bodies to ignore this reflex. That's not good. As a result, no. their stomachs are capable of holding down four plus liters of food Woo. with capacity more than four times greater than the average stomach. <laughs> when you so eat gross. so many hot dogs, your stomach expands and actually does push all of your organs out of the way. <laughs> this right here, that's 50 hot dogs. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, two more hot dogs <laughs> to record. I don't know if this needed to be on ESPN, but I'm happy Woo! that it No, of course. So why were, what other channel would it be on? 69. There 69 you go. So that's what 69 dogs. hot dogs 69 looks in your belly. Hot dogs and over two <laughs> quarts of water. This is what it looks like inside Whoa. the human body. <laughs> Zero to nine months pregnant. Where does it go? In 10 minutes. I think it's got to go out of your poopy hole. This is oh, why I'm mad. Ingesting 69 hot dogs is equivalent to consuming over 20,000 calories. Theoretically, by slowly rationing out that many calories, a person could survive for about four months. I mean, it wouldn't exactly be a picnic, but it's possible. You suck. All right, there it is. Yes. Thank so, you, this is my question. This is why I'm mad. Because... We all asked, the three of us asked the question, if ESPN really provided a 360 coverage, right? What they would needed to okay. have done. Five days is, off, I guess. There's all of us sitting here asking the question, what happens after? 
and they got no answer for us. They just sat there with a big distended stomach. And my question is, is that what does he do? Does he throw it up? Does he have to sit and let it come out of his fucking ass? I want to know. What's you know the what, second Henry? half of this story? This is I just think, the act one. I think the Whoa. second half of this story is that we have a competition adjacent to Nathan's competition where we take the competitors and we see how much they can vomit and we put it in a bit of a bucket and then the person who vomits the most can win kind of a, a different sort of prize. That'd be dope. Yeah. Oh, what? my God. In Fresno, like yesterday, like last weekend, a man in California choked to death during an amateur taco eating contest at a minor league baseball game. Oh my How many God. tacos did he gotta have? Go, you got to go back to fucking the game? Was that After man Chris Catan? Oh, it's at the Fresno Grizzlies game. How did he choke to death on a... Don't think... You got to have someone who knows how to do the Heimlich there. Yeah. That, this that's is honestly... But this that. is the truth. This is for all y'all to understand. These guys do really train. They do actually train yeah. to figure out how to eat this food. It can fuck with you. Oh, yeah. be, be very careful. Did he win the competition? I'm assuming once you start choking, then they have to disqualify you. I think, well, I think they call it when they start choking, but you're definitely disqualified. You're definitely not winning. No, no. there's no oh, way. Unless they give it to you posthumously. No, I'd yeah. never give somebody who died because they couldn't take it. That's the ultimate loser. You know what? You I know, have to say, anything, though, they didn't make it to the end. The person who organized that, it was it okay when you say taco i immediately thought hard taco i suppose they could theoretically be a soft taco but if anyone does anything with a hard taco in an eating competition you're gonna die it'll cut yeah, you right hard taco? You're, you're gonna cut up I was hard taco? Soft taco eating contest i mean youtube uh, y'all did the the soft the fish taco eating contest remember on this very stream i destroyed him to go in san diego of course he did I mean, absolutely of course because i knew he would I, I just told you my mouth. Out. All my years of, of having acid reflux made it so that I have to actually make sure I chew my food because sometimes it doesn't go all down fast enough. Yeah. Yeah. You puked on stage. I did. <laughs> yeah, I did. But remember, you really Henry, you were there. You would. Yeah. Yeah. I remember. I knew you but, would. You know, when it comes down yeah. to it, it's got to be soft taco because we did soft tacos. And the hardest part was honestly the texture of the fish taco because the fish was crunchy, crunchy fried and very cold. So yeah. the time we got it, it was like very, it was difficult to it, eat. It had been sitting out back in a tent for a while. Yeah. Yes, it was. And by and the way, sun, speaking of the impractical, sun. that was such a fun night at the Comic Con there. We hung out with Sal from Impractical Jokers. We had such a nice time, and we can't wait to see everyone again. But let's do, speaking of ha bad habits, can't we just go hang out with the Impractical Jokers all day? They don't wouldn't want you to, Henry. Henry, you no, have, wouldn't that be fun? You have to be invited. <laughs> I'll we, show up. We have asked they, every probably single time nice I've, to ask me to leave. Every time I've seen Sal, I'm like, can we go on your cruise, please? And they say yes, but we don't know yet. But maybe. We don't know yet, but maybe they said maybe we could open for them on the cruise. And Oh, I think it was just to buy the, tickets as patrons. You no, know, but the most <laughs> buddy show you'd ever seen all of everybody's favorite buddies. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, let's I love play that. The, let's play the ultimate warrior telling you about the dangers of smoking cigarettes. Love the warrior. Great intensity. There's no, honestly, there is no danger. You know, to I have a lot of bad habits, but only ones that help me survive. Don't deprive yourself of the full power. Be a survivor. Don't smoke. Smoke. Uh, Look at that. eating those cigarettes? Yeah, yeah, he was eating them. Isn't that funny? I Which wonder actually, if you... It's not good to do. No, he's, but he's habits. telling you not to smoke. It's, it's performative. I mean, they had to buy eight packs for the thing, but... He definitely smoked cigarettes. No, he doesn't smoke. He did uh, other... Uh, yeah, steroids and heroin and cocaine. <laughs> he's a Hall of Famer who then died fairly quickly after being inducted because of those things, but he's a Hall of Famer. Okay, let's just show... Yeah, he died a long time ago. Warrior? No, he yeah. died like three, four years ago, I think. He has 20... 2014. That was almost 10 years ago. Was it? Oh my God. Well, eight, yeah. Yeah. Wow. 2014. Dang. Wow. It was that actually that soon. All right. Well, let's keep I thought he going. died in like 1987. No, he, well, his career, because he pissed off Vince so much, his career kind of dovetailed a little bit towards uh, the mid 90s yeah. there. And then he had a small comeback with the WCW, but he didn't have the full license to use the name Ultimate Warrior. So he was oh, just yeah, Warrior. Sure. And it just, it just didn't really work. And honestly, right here, Odd Clock says, which is kind of crazy, he's like, that guy's even tanner than my baby, which oh is crazy to do because babies tan so easily. All right. Well, let's play. Uh, By God, he's broken in half. JR, one of the greatest commentators of all time. Turns out you can take his commentary and put it over, put it over anything. Here's JR commentating on some video games. And this is also the greatest video game of all time, Resident Evil 4. 
Oh my God! You gotta be kidding me! You gotta be kidding me! No, don't do this! <laughs> the superplex, the king size superplex. That's one of the biggest damn ladders I've ever seen. <laughs> kid. Make yourself famous! Whoa, lightning bolt! No, he's still it. He's still it. I swear to God, that'll stop your heart. But God Almighty, he's a human pit puncher. That's a lot of weight. There's over there's two, three hundred pounders up there. Wait a minute. I tell you, I don't like the looks of this at all. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, my God. Don't you dare do that. Don't do that. Well, what game is this that the Freedom Tower comes down? What the hell is so great about that? Wait a minute. No, you. Don't tell me. No. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I see how he likes that. Now see how it feels. The son of a bitch. Let's see what we can if we can see. Did he have a did he have a stroke? He has Bell's Paws palsy. Is Red that it's just Bell's palsy is what he yeah. has? Because I was always wondering what made him look so different. Imagine what inhuman thoughts lie behind that mask. Okay, what? Wait a minute. It is pain! It is pain! It's gonna be pain! Alright. There it was, JR. <laughs> Honestly, one of the greatest broadcasters in the history of the world. I love him. Yeah, he has Bell's so palsy. It hit really hard in the early in the mid nineties. He got hit really I remember hard with it. I thought yeah. he had plastic surgery or something, but then I looked because he like he had a thing where his he whole half so of his bad. face was gone. Yeah. It, like Wait, and he, then it, it still sounds good. Well, he took about a month before he could get some of that back. But yeah, you can still see. It. But yeah, he sounds great. He's doing awesome. Yeah, uh, we all love Jr. It's and so um, like Bell's palsy. Bell's palsy is freaky. Sounds very difficult to deal with. But speaking of someone who probably deserves to have a whole bunch of more mental ailments, let's watch one of my great, my, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. He's cutting a promo. This is actually, let's do the bad promo first. This is the bad promo, bad wrestling promo. And my heart goes out to this guy because we've all been here. Way over our heads, that means. I, I oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've never given a wrestler. Earlier we talked no. to Jumpin' Jeff Farmer. Let's go now to that interview. <laughs> Folks, there's Jumpin' Jeff Farmer. Jeff, <laughs> so scared. a while back, what a he's match you very, had with Motley. He's not yep. Wow, he's still commenting. Probably the hardest match I ever had in my life. But I don't like it when things aren't my, going my way. Oh, he's Motley like, Crew, oh, you turn the tables on me. You turn the tables in a wrong way. You've got me mad now. I've stood <laughs> around. I've listened to everything you had to say. I have did everything necessary. But when you turn around and you backstab me one way or another, and you this treat, is me like treat talking me to out the of DMV. what's rightfully mine, that's <laughs> when I get angry. Now I'm the one doing the challenging. I'm issuing a challenge to you, Motley Cruz. Motley Cruz. Motley Cruz. <laughs> <laughs> this time, I'm going full force. People saying he's cute. Jump he is cute. I now, thought let's he go to the ring. He looks like a young Chris Jericho, but literally just so scared to do that promo. And Very now scary. for my last video, Terry Funk. Let's see how a pro does a does a good old wrestling promo. Love he is Terry truly Funk. the best. Man, I miss when guys didn't have to be that good looking. When, like when I they didn't have to be that tight, when they could just be kind of fat but huge. Real wrestlers, man. Come on, Terry. <laughs> Come on, stop punching the chair, Terry. <laughs> That chair did nothing to you, Terry. Leave the, <laughs> leave the chair alone with your face, Terry. <laughs> that right there is a classic wrestling promo. Beats the hell out Terry, of himself for our own Stop doing here. it. Terry, mm. stop beating the chair. The chair did nothing. The chair is innocent. Leave your face alone, Terry. I can't wait to experience Los Angeles um, underground indie wrestling. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I can get a job being a commentator myself. By God! Oh, my! I just want to start screaming about how it's Dude, amazing what they can do. That's you know what we should say. do is, like, like um, not League of Their Fucking Own, Field of Dreams. Mm. Okay. When we go out there, what we do is we're going to build it ourselves. It's going to be me. I'm going to be known as the Polish Slinky. <laughs> I'm going to go against the first man I see in our parking lot of where the studio is. That's right? great. That's such and a good idea for you. That's how we start to build it. We start to build it up. We get us and get a lot of people together. Mm -hmm. Just watching just what wrestling used to be, which was about yeah. two men. 
It's still in a, a circle, mo- square circle. Yeah. That, that, does this mean that I can finally bring back Doctor Gasoline? Yes, of that's course. right, Doctor Gasoline. Yeah. I yeah. love I'm it. Fucking wrestler, Doctor Gasoline. The, po- the yeah. Polish yeah. Slinky versus Doctor Gasoline. We can't wait cool to see you hell. all on the and road very some, soon. We get some ring girls in there. And we'll wrestle women too. Like it's sure, not about I'll... we won't wrestle women. Marcus will wrestle a woman. He wrestles yeah. a woman at a drop of a hat. Yeah, uh, well, sure. All right, everyone. I'll wrestle a woman. I'll wrestle no a woman if I even, had to. No one I'll wrestle a child. I'll wrestle an old person. Okay, well, it's good. That's why you're the Polish slinky, because you can do it all. Don't you want to commentate? So you better be ready to see all I'm the different ready. titles, all, everything we can do here. What's what's the thing? What's the, Marcus, what would you be the most outlier that you would wrestle, and you'd be afraid to do it, but you'd still do it? Probably the that most clam. outlier, I would say um, a very large goat. Ooh, I yeah, thought you were going to go with someone dressed as a toad or a frog. <laughs> Man oh, versus no, no, goat. No, I could do that. Oh, like I'm going to wrestle. Like, I'm going to wrestle a Nissan Altima. All right. Well, that'll be all the rage. Thank you all so much for coming to the square circle, Nissan Altima. I tried to rent you two weeks ago, but they said there was none left in stock. <laughs>